Morning friends, my name's Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayers here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now's an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our memory verse for today comes from our psalm. Psalm 20 verse 1. The Lord answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob protect you. Let's pray. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Over the last couple of days, we have been reading through some of the struggles between the Israelites in the wilderness and the Lord. There have been some very helpful and holy insights on how we should be approaching the Lord in our own lives but the way of the Spirit is not like a mathematical solution. We do not plug in certain virtues and expect certain blessings to come out. God is personal. Sometimes he decides to answer our prayers differently to how we expect. Wrestling with God in prayer is difficult. Jacob got a limp from his efforts. Jesus sweated blood in the Garden of Gethsemane. And the Israelites found there is a difference between wrestling and quarrelling, giving them a lesson to learn over and over again during their time in the wilderness. It is very easy to fall into despair in our prayer life. Apathy, laziness and procrastination is a subtle but powerful destroyer. Poor theology of having created God in our own image and praying to that idol instead of the true God of Scripture is another recipe for destruction. What about when we've done all the right things? We wrestle without quarrelling, we pray without ceasing, we trust without doubting, and yet we still cry out, God, I miss you, come back. This is a psalm for such an occasion. The Bible is at pains to remind us of God's goodness because we find it so easy to find distractions that cause us to despair. If you are finding yourself in such a position right now, take this psalm and bless yourself with its words. The Holy Spirit has inspired these words and they are therefore a direct blessing from God's heart to any pilgrim who reads them. What other ways have you found to escape the pit of despair? Let's pray. Lord, answer me in my day of trouble. By your mighty name, protect me. Send me help from your sanctuary and give me support from Zion. My pride is in your name, the name of the Lord Jesus, my God. Answer me when I call. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, may the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.